One of Center City's most beautiful parks, the scene of a gruesome crime. Philadelphia police are working to find out what led to a deadly stabbing in broad daylight. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. The murder happened in front of the Free Library on the Parkway, and we have new information in the investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos joins us now from 19th and Vine with what we know right now. Greg. And Yuki, Jessica, good afternoon. Philadelphia police saying they do have one woman under arrest for this homicide. They tell us she is a homeless woman who lived nearby and her victim, a 50 year old or a man in his 50s, also homeless. We're told by investigators she stabbed him twice in the neck, just about 50 feet from where I'm standing, which is just feet from a very popular Center City Park. It's an area of Center City better known for its beer gardens. Shakespeare Park sits across the street from the central branch of the Free Library, a block away from the Basilica and feet from the fluttering flags of the Ben Franklin Parkway. And Friday, it boasts the unfortunate distinction of being the location of one of Philadelphia's latest homicides. The female stabs the male twice in the neck. Um, there's no chance to save him. Uh, he died there. The police responded. Philadelphia police homicide captain Jack Ryan says both the female suspect and the male victim are homeless. The killing happened minutes before 8 this morning near 19th and Vine after some type of argument and self-defense is not a factor. They had an argument. He was walking away. Uh, she ran back uh, to him and stabbed him twice in the neck. By the end of the day, she'll be charged with murder. This area of Philly has undergone a renaissance of sorts in the past year, with the redesigned park featuring a giant chessboard and a place to grab a brew after work. I think it's very tragic that, especially in a place like this where they're trying to build it up. Those from Philly hope this tragic slaying is an anomaly in a normally safe part of Center City. Downtown's very safe. There's a lot of police uh, presence down here, There's a lot of officers down here. And those from other parts of our country say they hope so too. I feel like it's the nature of being in the city. It's a shame, um, obviously, what happened, but it hasn't stopped us from visiting. Now, investigators say they still are not clear on what those two were arguing about this morning. The identity of that victim, once again, a man in his 50s not yet being released since his next of kin has not yet been notified. I'm live here in Center City, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Greg, thank you.